right, so what were you saying again? Make no. sure make sure the ball's in the middle. You have a creep forward. Ball in the middle. So look, so before you hit it, yeah. your feet aim left, so it makes the ball feel a little too far forward. So yeah, yeah, match up with them a little bit. Yeah, more like that, yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm just that used to aiming left. I don't want you aiming left. That's good. Now get onto your front foot. So it's back foot. So if you can see there, look at all the weight on that foot, see? Fuck. So when, when you hit, the whole purpose of it though, the whole purpose of getting off your right foot is to get your right hip through like that, see? Yes. So you can think one or the other. So let's hit a few thinking, turn your right hip turn through. Turn your right hip. Okay. Now get onto your front foot, but turn your right hip through. That's better. I know you didn't hit it well, but that's a better body action. It's definitely a body, better body action. You've got to finish facing the target with your weight on your left foot. That's it. So get the ball in the middle and aim square. Now into that left foot, face the target. Yeah, good. So that was a great strike, but, but the club face is open. So when you get when you get your strike solid like that, like keep doing that. But when you get that strike solid and it keeps cur curving to the right, then start focusing on releasing your right arm over. Turning it over more. Yeah, more because it curved to the right. But that strike was really good. So keep turning into your left foot. Good. So see how now it's still open. Yeah. The face is still open, so you got to feel, in your mind, it'll feel like you're closing the face through impact. You've got to turn it turn it more. Yeah, so if you just think, turn into your left foot and then close the face when you hit it. So I think that's what I'm missing out on, not, not getting that curve, and I feel like that's what I'm missing. So that's a real big curve. When you hit curve. that one low and along the ground to the left, it's because your weight's staying on your back foot, you swing across your body. So keep, keep turning into your left foot, that's the number one step. Good, so see how the contact now is clean on every ball. Yeah. Now the ball's going out to the right so because you know you used to hit it to the left and slice it so your hand was under like that. Yeah. Well now that you're getting that clean contact every time, feel like you've worked the right arm over. On your left foot, work the right arm over when you hit it. Yeah, we missed it. You know, you hit, of all the balls, you hit, you hit them in here more than anywhere else. Yeah. So great. maybe maybe just stand just a tiny bit further away. Aim for the middle of the club. I don't think I don't think yeah. you're already doing that. You hit the bulk of the balls in there too. That looks better. Just a little bit of space. Now into that. Turn into that left foot. So you're right out of the middle. Yeah. Maybe you're just a too close to it. I mean, if it repeats, you know, if you're repeatedly hitting it in the heels, well, yeah, it makes sense that you're standing too close. There you go. Now into the, into your left foot and right arm over. That's the best miss you could have, just in straight at the target. Yeah. That's not really curving unless the wind moving it. That's pretty that was pretty neutral. Not too close. Into that left foot, right arm over. So you hit in the heel again. So when you get ready to hit, always measure off comfortable. It's the easiest way. Get comfortable, then stand slightly further away. Yeah, there you go. I reckon right in there. Into your left foot. So you run out of the middle. Yeah. That makes sense that you're standing too close based on those last few balls. Yep. So just back up just a little bit for what you're comfortable with. That way. Now right arm over and into your left foot. Yeah, right arm over. I've got to get that. Yeah, so the reference, a good reference after you hit it is shake hands with your right hand. See that? Yeah. But yours is kind of, you get a bit of that and then you sort of go there later. The shake. What were you saying? Shake. Are you the target, yeah. So when you get through, the right hand's like vertical. That's a good position there. So yours is a little bit under, that's why they go oh, right. So more like that. Hit the club like that. Yeah. Hit that point on the way through. <laughs> like it's like a that's like a reference point. Yeah. That's it. Into your left foot and feel like you shake hands with that right hand. Not too close. That setup's good. Clean a strike and pretty square. That looks good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Just, keep, just, keep, right. just keep doing that. What's the problem? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I thought after the last one. I thought I could. Uh, anyway, that looks a bit close. When you get comfortable, you're a bit there. You now into that left foot and right arm over. That looks good. Okay, so that's to see how your weight's on that right foot. Yeah, that's back, why you're yeah, that's having right. to doing that, eh? Exactly. So, yeah, Bad habit. I don't want you falling anywhere, but if you're going to fall, forward's the way to fall. Fall forward. Yeah. yeah. So you've got to be in the mode of feeling like you go into that left foot, so you know, kind of falling forwards again. That's it. Like 
right hip over your left foot. It's not too close. And right hip over your left foot. And the contact's great there. Well, address that starting to the left shortly if you keep doing it. Yeah. But I want you just to get the clean get contact. That, yeah. I'd rather be hitting them like that than what I've been doing. But you're getting clean contact now from, from working on into your left foot and not yeah. standing too close. And then we'll work out the direction shortly. is like if you stop turning with your hips see how the club keeps going it shuts down yep if you turn your hips through first you see how it keeps the club square for longer yeah so turning clearing those hips out prevents that ball going left now, unless you're swinging over the top but you're not the divots are going relatively straight so just keep turning onto your left foot see that's straight that's good maybe look at that finish so you're facing the target and your weight's on the left foot where are those flying up? Clowns, right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, they're up there. Be, be further away, tiny bit. There you go. There you go. Hips over your left foot as much as you can. A little heavy. It's nice and light. Yeah, I yeah. think I just got to relax a bit too. Well, slowing down will help because you need time to get on your left foot. Oh, wait there. You got that thing. It's all good. It's it's all right. Right. You move it. Yeah. He's run out of pit. <laughs> I'm fucking, so that's what that's the result of what? what? Well, look, there's a few different I'll take ways. I've a fucking massive hole there. A few different ways you can make deep divots. One is if you're swinging it left, which you do a little bit. See how it's yeah. more steep on the yeah, way Yeah, I'm through. doing that a lot. And two is from not turning. The more you turn, the shallower the impact is. Oh, okay. So the more you turn, the more you can shallow that out. Good. Well, that's because that's there's nothing worse than doing that. Big deep ones. Look, swinging it to the no, left. When you hit the ground, I mean, how, I mean you don't do it obviously, but hit doing that, it's like frustrating. You want to hit some ground because you get, you've got to have a downward strike to catch the ball first. You don't want to hit before the ball. See, that's oh. clean as a whistle. So the more you turn, the shallower the impact. And that way you'll reduce the divot. Now if the ball starts, you know, starts to go left, we'll address the part. But at the moment, it's starting pretty good. Not too close. Now turn into that left foot. Beautiful. Neighbor's back. That's good there. Yeah. Two in a row. Yeah. <laughs> this one will be fucking. Right. One and roll. <laughs> this one could go anywhere. Nah, no, you're good. Get through the steps still. Not too close. And turn your hips into your left foot. See, that's a good miss. I, I, I like that. Yeah, thin, thin and straight at the target it means you're doing some good things. The part's good. Yeah. The turn's good. Weight yep. transfer. Feels like a golf swing. <laughs> Where's that well, pain? Looks like one too. <laughs> Where's that pain? But why? Why? They just always try to go back to why you are. Now you're just standing a little further away because you were hitting everything in the hosel. Yeah. So if you're swinging it perfect, getting it out of the hosel. It's no good. So you got to back up a little. Go back there. Number one. Number two. Turning into your left foot's creating the best strike. I'm just feeling like I'm. I wasn't doing that before. Into your left foot. Yeah. That's really huge. I mean, we've mentioned that before, but if you keep your weight on your right foot, you can't turn into your left foot. Nah. Your hips are restricted. Not too close. Good. Now just turn into that left foot early. See, so, you now that's just late getting your right arm over. So if you, if you keep turning into your left foot, you're going to get that solid contact. Yep. But it might get out to the right if you leave the face. It will get out to the right if you leave the face open. So you've got to feel like you work that right arm over, like that shaking hands and that sort of thing. So this is with the driver and the 60, everything? Everything, yeah. Everything. There are differences with ball position, and, but the swing is the same. So if it keeps doing that, that see how there's yeah. weight on that back foot? Yeah. So not getting weight off that right foot is going to assist with hitting it left or starting it left. Yeah. So you've got to turn in that right, left foot earlier. Are you playing Friday? Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. 
Luke, what's on? Uh, more Park 645. We've got a oh, okay, yeah, We've got about, I think we've got three or four groups booked. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah, it's good. It's good fun. What do they sting you for there? Well, it's 200 for the boys, but then you, it's because it's a, we call it the British Open, it's, it's extra prizes. So nearest a pier and 200, stuff. 200 a person? Yeah. Ah. But, you, but it's a club we'll put in. We go to triple weight at the end of the year. And, but on any given hole, you're a chance to win a couple hundred bucks, oh, 250, yeah, okay. 300 bucks, you know. So. How many? Three groups. There's three groups, I think, tomorrow, maybe yeah. four, and it's, it's like have a stable for the hole. So I've got, I'm off 27, yeah. you know, so yeah, good. if I, I'm a chance on any given hole, yeah, I'll yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I've got 20. I think it might be stroke tomorrow, so I've got 27 off whatever I hit. Yeah, gotcha. I think I sold that in. Yeah. So look at that finish, just turning into that left side. That's really important. Yeah, you. that's just a bit of a new thing for me, so. But you weren't getting your left side? Like, I mean, I'm sure I mentioned that in the past. You have, but I just... Like I said, it. it wasn't sinking in. There was a lot yeah. of things I'm trying to think of. I'm trying to think of. Well, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to overcomplicate. No, it, but know. that's good. If I, I'm only just thinking of that now. Well, that is, that is, you, you, at the moment, I reckon that's the main thing. Is just make sure you're turning into your left side so you catch the ball first. So you're catching the ball first every single time. Yeah. And then once you do that, then direction's another thing. You know, like open the face to cut it, close yeah. the face to hook it. Yeah. You can it. work on that. Right. But you've you got to get, get the basic right. You've got to get that clean contact first. Yeah, turning into that left side that so you catch the ball first. That makes sense. Yeah, and All starting right. it straight is important. And you're starting it relatively straight now. You started a lot left. I reckon that's because you used to hang on that right foot. Yeah, yeah, 100%. But now that's preventing that by turning too. And once again, a little bit of a low off the low off the club, but look at the result. Yeah. Right down the line. Yeah. Go grab a little bit longer club. What's that one? Seven. Yeah, get like a five or a four. You got a four? Yeah. You grab that. I, hit the four, yeah. I try and I tend to hit the rescue a bit more than the four, but I've been going to the four yeah. a bit now. Like you should be well, able to hit both. It gets, it gets why, why, what's the, why would it be? Because they're the same sort of club, aren't they? Why, what's the difference between so, hitting a four? So or? hybrids are meant to go high and to the left because most people can't get it in the air with long irons and they slice it. Yeah. So hybrids are all meant to go high left. Right. So you, you're in that category. You don't hit it overly high and you yep. curve it to the right mostly. Yeah. You curve it. Yeah. So it should suit you, depending on the makeup. But that stand a little bit further away. There you go. And the same thing, just turn into that left side. Oh, great contact, that shot, buddy. It's insane. <laughs> now, that is, that's a great strike, but that's a little on the low side. So you keep that for, if you want to hit it down a fairway or into the wind on a hole, maybe. But the hybrid, you maybe you take that when you've got to throw it over up in the air a bit more. Yeah. But it's the same swing. Yeah, so just let the face a little over, but you're turning that left side, so the strike's perfect. So every stroke's been good now. Yeah, not too close. You look a bit close. There you go. Now it's good. See how clean that strike is? Yeah. And no wind. That's pretty neutral. So that's that's good. That's a good sign. See, I've never hit balls as clean as this ever. I so. know. This is probably the best session you've had. Yeah. Well, it sinks in eventually. Yeah, it's got it. <laughs> if it doesn't, yeah, to what? Then you got to watch. <laughs> hey, Jace. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> not too close. Good. Now turn into that left side. No hurry. Oh yeah. Straight anyway. <laughs> no question, straight. But that once again, it's pretty good miss. You know, it's straight down the line, a little bit thin. That's what yeah, you want. I take that all day. But that's what you get if you turn into your left side as your main thought. That's what you're going to get. Right. Is the clean contact. Another beauty. Well, let's yeah. see the difference now. That you're swinging it good. Yeah. Let's see the difference between. Four iron and the hybrid. Yes, what is it? A three hybrid, so. I was able to throw like a three But it still iron. should go a little higher than. What are they doing? What are they doing? <laughs> They're not even on a hole there, are they? Oh, mate. They didn't know how to drive through the car park. Like, I had to, I had to go on the gutter to get out. Are they fucking. Oh, they just fucking around. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Yeah, not too close. So let's see if we can get a bit more high. It won't be much, I don't think. Yeah, so a little bit higher, but. That's a three hybrid, the other one's a four iron. So. Yeah, but that was still straight and I sort of still yeah. took a chunk then. Yeah, yeah, so that's because you're turning into your left side first, you catch the ball first. Ah. Oh. That's good. Yeah, so just hung back on that one a little, see the weight's on your right foot? Yeah, okay. And that's an, e that's, that's an easy way to catch it a bit on top of the ball, by hanging back. Right. See, look, if you through. hang back, oh, I'm exaggerating, if you hang back, you're going to hit the top of the ball. If you're into your left side, you're going to get the ball and then the grass, which is what you'd rather. <laughs> Don't hurry, just turn into that left side as early as you can. Just get the face shut. Like, keep the face just wide open when you hit it. But when you turn through, 
there. See that finish? See that finish you had there? Yeah. When you turn through, try to face the target, put the club over your left shoulder. Like, try to get the same one every time. Same finish position. Hold it there, hold it there. Good. So that's your spot, just over your left shoulder. If you, take, if you put it there, I try to put it like sort of just on the back of my left shoulder every oh, time yeah. I hit one. Yeah, yeah, you just find a spot that works for you. I think I've, I've sort of See that? I've been neglecting that too. That's part of the follow through, part of getting through too. Yeah. Look, I think I think if you find a spot to finish, regardless of whether it's on your shoulders, find a spot where to finish and try to get there every time. It helps with release. It helps with turn. Just finish over your shoulder and face the target. Into your left foot earlier. Finish there. See, if you finish there every time, that's the worst shot you'll hit. It is a good shot. It's a little skinny. Mate, on, is that still in? Uh, still we are. Oh, looking, not looking. Is it looking straight? Yeah, yeah. That's right. It's still good. Okay. Yeah, it's good. It's still rolling. It's still rolling. It's a big one. Put it on YouTube. Yeah. Not too much. Back up a bit. Assuming it's finished, facing the target on your left foot. So that's where you get your hands. Look. Chasing too far forward, see that? Right. So you got you got to at some point let the club go past the gear. You feel the club goes past. There you go. You got to let the club go past. Just back up a second. Put your feet together and just swing it over your left shoulder. Yeah, I've been trying to do that. But... Well, it's a, it's really relevant to you because your hands pull ahead of the ball, and when you feet it together, you can't do that. It just it makes you release the head past. That's a good drill for you to, to release the head earlier. Okay. So turn into your left side, but feel that head go over your shoulder. Just try it even more, I suppose. So, well, yeah, just try to get all your weight into your left foot. Don't hold it down your right foot. Turn over your left foot. So the hands have got to be forward. Like, if the ball's here and the divot's going to here, your hands have to be dragging too far forward. Does that make sense? Yeah. If you keep your hands back, which you kind of want to do on a hybrid, you don't want to dig it in, you're going to send it up in the air more. And you want a higher launch than that. So think of think of a reference like it's a bit too far back, but think of a reference like your belly button when you hit it. Yep. Try to send it back to there when you hit it. See like that. Yep. Rather than have that lean so far forward. Into your left foot, but try to point it at your belly button when you hit it. Yeah, a little bit late. Getting rid of it is well, how am we going to just, just try and practice well, that drill? Or... Keep, keep on working those feet with your feet together because nobody pulls their hands forward with their feet together. Just releasing the head earlier. So, you know, what this is doing is it's making you extend your right arm earlier. So, what you got to feel when you take, if you don't take your regular stance is that you extend your right arm prior to hitting the ball. Yeah, okay. You're late, you're kind of late doing that before. So, feel that right arm extend early when you hit it. Straight away you got some height and you're not digging it in nearly as much. Yeah, I'll just try to hit it smooth then and there's no need to ever try to smash one. You just want to get the everything working together. Yeah, that's, like, the, that's the key, eh? Yeah, never never trying to kill it. It's a good idea. Yeah. You know, yeah, sometimes you just forget, you tense up. Well, we you... all, everybody loves to smash it, but you're gonna smash it by getting all the you know the technique right. So take a practice swing and show me all your weight off your right foot and face the target with your hips. Yeah. Take a full swing and make sure all your weight gets off that right foot. You're still hanging back a bit. That's what I want. All the weight into your left foot. How much better is that? So you've got to prepare. I reckon you've got to prepare like prior to hitting the shot with some relevant pre-shot routines, you know, something relevant like swinging it with your feet together or making sure you transfer your weight onto your left foot. Just get just practice swing, get or... Do something on the practice swing that's relevant to your swing. Don't just swing it thinking about nothing. Yeah. And now work that into it. Turn into your left foot, let that club head go. Look at that, two in a row is flush. So, you know, because you did something prior to hitting the ball that's relevant, then it worked on the actual 
that's what everybody does. They waste the, you know, they waste their bad swing on the actual shot where you can fix it up before, you know. Yep. Try to sort it out before and then take it to the ball. A little bit late with the head, but not too bad. Okay, let me see some drivers. A couple yeah. drivers, yep. Cheers. I've got a tee if you haven't. Oh, yeah. well, have I ever got a tee? Uh -huh. Every time I go, it's some drivers. It's Um, I'm off now. I've took a couple of days off. I have to go back for Monday Arvo. So, oh, good. yeah, yeah, that's good. Nice. yeah, it's a good result. Yeah. All right. And so this ball goes closer to your left foot. It's more like your shirt logo, just ahead of the chest, just ahead of the middle of your chest. So show me that finish on your left foot. Yeah. So just hands, like I said, hands are dragging ahead of the ball too early. Still. So let the head go past, yeah. So the feeling you need is it feels like your right arm's gonna go over your left earlier. Right arm's gonna go over my left earlier. Gotta get that feeling. Yep, right arm over your that's left earlier. That's just easier said than done. I mean, yeah. it's just something that's foreign. But I mean, it's something like, they're starting, every ball's starting pretty much straight now. So the problem now is that the face is open. So you gotta feel like you close the face. Well, that's working your right arm over left. Right. Because they're all, none of them are starting left anymore. So if you're turning on your left foot's worked, now you've got to feel like that right arm works over yeah. so it doesn't curve to the right. That looks good. Now work that right arm over and onto your left foot. Ah, chunky. said most people are so you know they've, they've got these few tools like swinging with your feet together feeling that right forearm over prior to hitting the pole really helps so if i were you i'd be doing as many swings as i could with my feet together because it just may, it forces you to work the right arm over right and, that's arm the, over. and that's the exact move that's the exact feeling you need okay we might just do a couple of the 60 before we I want to do that i was about to go to that yeah, it's all right. good. Now go right arm over and into your left foot. That's yeah, fine. Just a little late still. Still late. Yeah. Fuck. Still late. Late. Yeah, keep working that over. That's it. Yeah, just try and keep turning into your left foot and working that right arm over. Left foot, right arm over. If you just work the right arm over without the turn, it'll go left. Yeah. But the turn's going to sort of cancel it out. Yeah, much straighter? Yeah. So, so the, the two then and yeah, that works so out the right. the combination of turning into your left side and working that right arm over kind of cancels out. Yes. To straighten it out. So just think about them two things, eh? I think so. I mean, there's a bunch of other little things, but they're the two main things at the moment. Yeah, well, they're the, that's what's... Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Keep it simple, man. Like, yeah. Just try to get comfortable because as a general rule, you do stand a little close. Although, you know, standing too far away has got its problems as well. Yeah. Just get comfortable and then just a little more. That's it. Now, into your left side and right arm over. Very playable, and that's winds off the left, and that's moved about yeah. 10 meters. So, yeah, if everyone like that, I'd, I'd take it. Well, that's right, you'd be able to play well with that. <laughs> Get to Doe at Mill Park. Yeah, it'd be nice. Any of the boys from here, guys? Um, uh, Abby's played, uh, well, there's a couple, yeah, yeah. There's a couple. Chris O, Brad Chris O used to play. Oh, yeah. yeah uh, Rito, really Troy's had a few hits with us. <laughs> So grab the lobby now. Let's see the few lobby. Yeah, lobby, yeah. Grab, uh, here's your team over here. Right up this fucking thing. What? It didn't go well? I was well? more right and then I sort of went backwards. I don't know. Like, maybe I just, I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. 
was doing, so. Maybe I wasn't doing the right, you said. Well, I wasn't getting on the front, I wasn't turning the hands over. Well, look, on a log wedge, you don't really want to be transferring your weight. Like, I see a lot of people get their weight into their right side. It's kind of a bad position for a log wedge with such yeah. a sharp leading edge. You just stay on the front. Yeah, I do. I feel like all my weight's on my left foot, and then it just extends your right arm and turns, which is similar to the previous one we're doing on your full swing. Make sure you extend your right arm so you use the bounce. You've got to extend your right arm early on a log wedge. Those deep dips aren't going to work. Still turn those hips. Yeah, that was alright. Well, yeah, I'm not hitting them like that usually. When I'm not around. Yeah, if there's a bunker there, I shoot myself. Yeah. <laughs> you just stick to the process. Like, if you just stick to the process, sometimes it's going to go wrong, but you know, for the most part, if you get most of it right, you're going to get a reasonable result. Just extend that right arm early. Yeah. So the catch is you've got to take, you've got to get under the ball. You've got to get under the ball. So, you know, what I focus on when I hit these shots is just brushing the grass out. Brushing the, the grass. Ball. Not trying to hit the ball, just brush the grass. Extend your right arm early and brush the grass. Fine, man. Beautiful. Oh, well, yeah, I nearly hit the same flag twice. Okay, yeah. that yeah. was good. Yeah, that was good. The, but that's just the two well, things you're saying get on the, the twist, get yeah. the right arm, and then just hit the grass. That's right. That's in that art. No. <laughs> See the same thing every time, you'll be fine. Yeah, just keep doing that, eh? Yeah. Sweet. And I'll try. They're a little skinny, so they didn't quite get the club underneath. So try to brush the grass. But see how that divot's getting a bit deep? Yeah. So, you know, you must be still getting. A little bit too much angle forward with your hands because right. it's getting steep. So try to hit it with the shaft relatively level, and that way you use the bounce and you give it the full loft. You try to give it the full loft. There you go, you get it up in the air more. Yeah, and I actually just sort of concentrated a bit more on doing that then, and it worked. Yeah, so what you know, how the club's built is the bounce is below the leading edge. Yep. But see if you lean way forward, you lose that bounce. Yeah. And you start digging it in. Right. So when you hit with your hands level, you look, you hit with your hands level, it just bounces through, watch. See how easy it is? Mm. But if you hit with your hands way forward, it digs in. So right. try to hit a small, just hit a shorter one, mm -hmm. and try to hit it with your hands level with the ball. Like don't drag your hands forward so much. It pops up a bit better. Yeah. And that still is forward, but much less forward. So keep trying to hit it with your hands level. Watch this move, let me show you, maybe. wait there a sec. Here you go. So watch this move with my right hand, look, my right arm. All I do with my right arm is just fold it, straighten it. See that? Fold, straighten. And that gets it underneath the ball, watch. Fold, straighten. See how it gets under? So you're hitting it a little bit too much like this. Yeah. I want you to feel like you hit it more like that. See level? See how it just glides? Yeah, do like it. That. Stand, that, stand that way and do that like you were just showing me. This way? Yeah, the, how, how you were showing me. Yeah, I'll show you. Look, so you've got a bit of a habit of getting the hands going too far forward and see how, see the leading edge, how it digs in? Yep. Yeah. It bounces back here, you've lost it. So if you hit it with your hands level, like for example, this has got 10 degrees of bounce, right? Yep. So I've got from between here and here to play with, here and 10 degrees. Mm -hmm. I try to hit it relatively level, and watch, it just bounces off the bottom, see? Yeah. You can never get stuck. Yeah. So I just all I do to do that is keep my weight on my left foot and extend my right arm. See that? You just fold it in and then straighten it. Fold, straight. watch my right arm. Fold, straight. my legs do nothing. Straighten. I just have to do that a million times. I, think. I mean, that's that's one of your key moves because these divots are deep. That's exactly what you got to do. Just fold, fold that, fold and straighten that right arm really early. See how it's gliding? Yeah. Don't hit a big one. Just get used to it. See, yeah. so, so watch this here. I'll show you maybe. When you get ready to go, I'm going to put this on video for you. Wait there. Yeah. When you get ready to go, you do this. Like, I'm trying to get you to hit with your hands level. I'm trying to get you to hit you with your hands level like this. Yep. Right before you take it away, you do this. You go. Oh, do I? So, look, if yeah. I hit it like that, look, it's just kind of. That's fucked. See that? Yeah. So, you kind of. It's just a trigger. Everybody's got a trigger. Some people do that. Some people do that. Little whatever. Thing, yeah. Yours is like this. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you've got this. You've got this thing that's going to dig in. Yeah. So, try to keep your hands here. And Pick some other trigger, like tap your tail or something, whatever. Yeah. Just pick another trigger and then go. Okay. So it stays level. Yep. Glad you know 
that's anything but dragging them forward. That's exactly not what I want you to do. Start with your hands relatively level. That's it. And try to take it away from there. You got that habit of pushing it forward. Watch how easy it is when you do it. And try it. Keep it level. Don't push it forward. See how it doesn't dig in? Beautiful. So it's way easier if you can get your head around that hole. Yeah. You don't want that angle way forward. Yeah, that's good. You want very little angle. Yeah, I, I, I feel already I was just trying to have this tendency to do that. And it's, just yeah. a, it's just a comfort thing, but it's just something that's totally killing that shot. You want them relatively level front. when you hit it. So try to start level, and that way you can put it back there easily. There you go. So that's the noise. That's the noise of the bounce hitting the ground and the club hitting the ball at the same time. But yours is a little more diggy because you use the leading edge. You want to use that bounce on the way through. There you go, pretty level. Brush the grass. They didn't quite brush the grass, but it's a reasonable result still. Start with your hands level. Notice I'm putting the ball back in the same spot. You're not digging a hole. Yeah. It's gliding. Just down here, mate. Just down the bounds right here. Nah, no worries. So you went back to your hole, back drag it forward. Yeah, yeah. So if I could kill one habit for you, it's I'd that. say that would probably be number one. Number two would be you were keeping your weight on your right foot. So you feel like you get left foot, and there you go. So just glide through. Hands level, stay on your left foot. Good. So it didn't you just didn't brush the grass. So if you brush the grass then that would have been okay. Just got it a little bit skinnier. Yep. You're doing well then, mate. This was a good session, you hit a lot of good shots. Hands level. Just let it glide. Let it glide through. Oh, look at that one. So that's exactly how it should be. So it's now the club's hitting the ground how it's meant to be hit the ground. Yeah. See, they've only got a tiny bit of turf interaction. Yeah. Instead of such a deep one. Mm -hmm. It's much better. Perfect. All fucking lobby in that one. Keep it right level, like point it right at your belly button. That's good. Start it there. And into your left foot. Yeah, so a little bit skinny, but good result. Trying to hit the flag. Mm. Straight. Yeah, it's good. Contact. Yeah, like just... they're meant to hit like this, you know? Everybody takes them and changes them and something Yeah. Else. So just hit it how it's sort of meant to be hit. So I think I had this thing thinking that you got to hit it like that to get make contact, but that's yeah. completely opposite to what I should be doing. You can, but you run this razor's edge. Like, you go a little bit heavy, you flub it. You go a little bit high, you skull it. Yeah. With this method, you can glide it through. So look at that, that wasn't your best strike, but look at the result. Yeah. So you got a much better chance of getting a result with this method, method over the hands way forward method. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, there's, only, there's only a few situations like that I would even think of putting my hands way forward. And that's maybe into a really strong wind or I get hit under a tree branch, that's about it. Comparatively, yeah. you get the complete. You're giving it the full loft, yep. and the contact's so much better. It's that simple thing, eh? Well, it's, it's how it's meant to hit the turf is relatively level, so that's how you want to sort of try to set it up. Look at that there. Play any shot. So a little bit lower because your hands did go a little bit forward, but just the easier way to do it. Mm. Right, one more, Mavo. You've done well. Thanks. Start with the hands level into your left foot and brush the grass. Oh, can't finish on that one. No. The same again, into your left, into your left foot. So you start with your hands level and try to hit it with your hands level. There you go, beautiful. Probably the best one. Up 50 metres. So just so you know, that's gone right on 50 metres. Yeah, so that's so just a... So it's not your full-fledged lob wedge, but no. you don't really need to hit one harder than that. No. No, Thanks, man. Cheers, mate. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Work. Good luck tomorrow. Good session. Thank you. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, I feel just like remember I... Remember those two things mostly. It's just turn into your left foot and work your right arm over. And you got to work your right arm over a little earlier than you normally do. Yeah. Thanks for coming to see me. Yeah, no worries. Thanks for helping me. No problem. Very pumped about that. I just want you to enjoy it more, you know. And if you can get a little bit better, you'll enjoy it more. Yeah, I will. Okay. Well, that's it. Well, I'm already enjoying it more, but I just I enjoy know. it a bit more than that. Well, that's right, yeah. <laughs> And nobody can tell me that I'm going to enjoy it more if they play this.